We roll down to 32. If we get two, we go for it. Otherwise, we chill. Give me an. What the? Wait, I've never seen such a roll down. KJ Rukas for the 16 months. Welcome back. I don't think it's Clear Mind. I don't think it's Pandora's. With a Hodge, it could be Inspiring Epitaph. I think it's just Epitaph. Oh. Okay, a little unlucky. I took the Epitaph because I have a Hodge. So I was like, okay, I guess we can play like some sort of melee build, like Pentakill with Akali and Viego. And then Epitaph is good for them. But then immediately we hit the Annie. It's not the end of the world. We just say, okay, well, our argument's like not that useful. Uh, half of our argument's wasted. Because yeah, the attack, the attack speed is like not useful. I kind of want to hold this fourth Olaf. Nah, I should make Econ. Alright. I haven't played any rural in a while, but let me go ahead and take a look at this. So the most played items on any reroll are Nashers, Jeweled Gauntlet. Well, Jeweled Gauntlets are super fan items, so it's not real. And apparently Shojin's not very good. Apparently... You're supposed to go Nashers, blue buff, and then Gunblade. Oh. Well, wait, hang on. So, I could get a Nashers right now. Let's plug that in. So. So once you already have the Nashers, a lot of people like to play J uh, Shojin, but apparently it's not good. And then apparently blue buff is the way. I find blue buff to be really weird though. I've always said blue buff isn't good on Annie because the uh, the mana cost gets like a really awkward number. But if the stats say it's like overwhelmingly the best item, maybe I'm missing out on something. Hello, secondhand vegan. Thanks for the two months. All right, let's look for a bow. Four emo blue buff is 30 mana. Oh, is that how it works? 40 mana. Right, so Annie's base mana cost is 50. So then... So Annie's base mana cost is 50. Four emo changes that to 35. And then blue buff... Oh yeah, no, it, it would be. Yeah, I see. 40 minus 25%. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, thank you for helping me understand that. I previously thought you'd have like 32 mana costs, so I didn't like it, but I see it now. Thank you, don't call me Dendi. Thanks for the five months. Okay, I'm down to see. We, we already like hit the headliner. I had a game earlier where I thought it was going to be an Annie reroll game, and I didn't see an Annie headliner for like 90 gold. And then I was just like, well, some games are just like this. 
Okay, I don't even think you care to lose this round because four lost streaks not even a big deal. Uh, so let's go ahead and mark the NA reroll units. Okay, and then you need to hit four emo, right? So you have to play Vex and Amumu. Come at me. Isn't that so weird that you have to play Vex and Amumu? Yeah, I guess ideally it'd be Poppy. But like, how are you even supposed to fit this in? Oh wait. Sorry, man. Like, how, how are you supposed to... Uh, you have to go eight, I guess. Okay, I actually think there's a small chance of Lily at three, so I'm gonna go into that. Okay, now I need to decide if I want to roll it down. I think I'm gonna do the thing where you roll down to 32, and then if I get to seven Annie's, I'm, I'll do it. Uh, let me pull up the calculator. So if you're looking for a one cost, you're level four. I have five Annie's, and no one else is playing Annie, right? Yeah. No one else is playing Annie. Let's just eyeball it and say there's 25 other one costs out of the pool. And then I can roll like 30 gold here without breaking my econ completely. It says I'm 50-50 on hitting three Annies. If I hit even two Annies, I think I'm gonna go for it. Cause then that's seven Annies and then I'll roll again. Odds are looking pretty good. If I hit two Annies, I'm gonna go for it. We roll down to 32. If we get two Annies, we go for it. Otherwise we chill. All right, give me an A. Give me an A. One. What the? Let's go make some friends, Tibbers. Huh? <gasps> what? Wait, I've never seen such a roll down. Wait, I got, I got to figure out my items. I kind of want to just let my Gwyn Susan be done with it. I'm really curious. What does the data say about Gwyn Susan? If you slam Gwyn Susan, like, you're just like done rolling for a long time. Oh, I almost won. Fuck, if I played Nari, I would have won. Uh, three is a crowd. Wait, this build actually does use a lot of three costs. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you look up the stats, it's gonna be really high. Three, three's a crowd. Oh, there's not enough data, but I'm pretty sure it's really good. Not LDP. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Well, I guess you go for it. It's like the time when you were a young box box and you are alone in a room with a girl and you say now is my time so you turn on the PC and start gaming. What? Thank you, Ender. Okay, so... I want to see what Gwinsu's is. Okay, Gwinsu's is plus 0.11 delta. I guess I can greed for it, but the fact that I have a Gwinsu's right now is so appealing. I'm shocked that Annie 3 isn't winning. I'm like kind of shocked too, but I don't have items right yet. Like if I slammed out any item, like even a shiv, I would definitely win. But I think greeting for blue buff makes sense, especially now that I locked in uh, threes of crowd, then I definitely want to play a move X for more threes of crowd value. This Archangel's bad. I uh, It's not bad, but you have to be more greedy with your items if you're rerolling. If you're playing flex, then it doesn't really matter that much because you don't even know what unit you're playing, so how can you greed best in slot? It's just like you slam something that's good enough, and if it happens to be best in slot, awesome. But uh, since you know exactly what unit you're playing from start to finish, I'm pretty sure you can greed here. Box box, I think Shojin is way better, why don't you agree? Uh, there are many reasons why Shojin's not better here. I'll go over it after this carousel. So the reason why it's not better is because it's three autos per cast, which you might be thinking, oh, well, that's the same as blue buff. 
But then think about Ari. Ari is two autos per cast with Shojin and two Ari autos per cast for blue buff. What does blue buff give? Blue buff gives you 8% more damage for 8 seconds, which is basically 8% more damage forever, which is a lot. Shojin just gives you like a little bit of AP. Hello, only Terp. I'm enjoying the Discord dungeon vibes. I'm glad you like it. We worked really hard on it. Please do enjoy it. It's been pretty fun. Okay, I'm, I feel like this might be better. I still need to hit that Seraphine. Thirty-two mana per auto right now. That's really awkward. You know what would actually make that perfect? If you had like Cybernetic Uplink one, so you get like two mana. Would you ever play Vex over Poppy because of Three's a Crowd? I uh, I think so. Yes. They nerfed Vex though. She, her stun's like much shorter now, so less interested in playing her. I think I'm gonna roll like twice here because Lily at three is actually possible. And then Seraphine's a big deal. Yeah, I feel like rolling at six is actually not bad here because uh, Seraphine three, Nico two. Almost every unit I could want right now is hittable here. I have to decide how much I want to roll at 7 versus 6. Because Okay, so if you roll at 7, you are more likely to hit the Nico 2, the Echo 2, the Amumu 2, the Vex 2. If you roll at 6, you're more likely to hit the Lilia 3, and like you could still hit everything else. I feel like rolling at 6 might be it. Alternatively, you could say fuck everything and then just go 8 immediately. But I've got so many upgrades pending, I definitely want to roll. Getting all these like random 2-star frontline upgrades is a big deal. Oh, can I roll a little bit and clear up some bench space before I grab these orbs? There we go. Wait, even Kennen 3 is on the table now. That's crazy. Imagine in a world where like I hit everything. That Annie shop was actually like... That had to have been like a 1 in 10,000 shop. I'd be curious to calculate the odds on it later, but like if you're already rolling for a unit and you have 6 of it, like regardless of what unit it is, to see 3 of that unit in one shop is just like inhuman. People will go like entire years of TFT without ever seeing a shop that lucky. Okay, I'm gonna roll at six. I actually think I can hit this Lily at three. I can hit this Lily at three. Give me an L. One L. One L. One L. It, it's gonna happen. Oh. Night's falling in my garden. Um, I definitely want to shiv. And then it's probably steadfast again. Is it ever a Lulu? No, you need Seraphine for, uh... Oh, Lulu for three is a crowd. No, I'm pretty sure the the stats from KDA are worth it. Okay, I think I'm saying give up on Kennen. Well, I might as well hold it as long as I have a streak. Unified? Unified's pretty good here. I wonder if it's ever Capricious Forge on Lilia. No, she doesn't use the items that well. It's not best friends. Gifts from the Fallen. Not the greatest. I think Unified's better. Combat Caster? Unified could hit my whole team pretty easily, but Combat Caster is in general pretty good. I think Combat Caster. Okay, I'm gonna just level and then sit and then just try to keep the streak for the rest of the game. I, I'm pretty sure you should itemize. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is correct. I'm not gonna roll for a long time. For sure it's correct to just like itemize the 3-star. Lily is not the best tank, but whatever. She, we took the time to 3-star her. Okay. It's 28 mana on Annie. Wait, that's not what I thought it would be. I thought it'd be exactly 30. But I guess it's fine. Alright. The new Annie reroll. 
I mean, this was a freakishly lucky anti reroll game, though, so. Even if we win this game, that might not necessarily mean that anti reroll is good. But I'm down to give it a try. Oh, wait. No. Oh my god, I, I had to drop my coffee for that. <laughs> I had to put down my coffee for a second to make sure I sold that in time. Uh, okay, so now you just go 9 and then play a 4th Guardian, Thresher York. And then Ari over Seraphine later. I think right now Seraphine's better because she heals. Cool. All right, I like this. We're just going to keep Vex and Seraphine away so that you don't get CC'd. And Annie's got Combat Caster, so she should survive Yasuo 3. I'm pretty sure Yasuo 3 does not break through my Lilia. My horse is impenetrable. Wait, my horse is getting penetrated. Live! Live! Okay, it's fine. What about Poppy 2 over Vex for more frontline? Uh, if a Poppy 2 fell into my lap, maybe. But uh, it, this is 3 as a crowd and a stun. It's not horrible. If I didn't have 3 as a crowd, I would definitely replace immediately. Even a Poppy 1. Because they know Vex. Um, her stun went from 1.5 seconds to like nothing. No. Uh, let's just make a third item. I was like, what if you went Rod and then set up for a second carry, like RE2? Let's just make the unkillable horse. That Yasuo was able to penetrate my horse, but now my horse is impenetrable. 3,500 HP, a 1,700 max HP shield, a heal, combat caster, two steadfast hearts. She should be fine. Um. Okay, there's not much reason to swap around. But I think just in general, trying to be less predictable. I've gotten like incredibly cheesed by some like god tier positionings before that like from an original scout you wouldn't see. So I feel like just moving around randomly is good. Are you gonna play set 3.5 on stream? No, everyone keeps asking me that, and my answer is always no, mostly because there's no ranked. It doesn't feel rewarding to play if there's no ranked, in my opinion. You like play around, like have fun messing around with like random old nostalgia builds, but. I didn't personally play set 3.5, so none of the units mean anything to me. If they did this with set 6, I would maybe go back for a little bit just to like relive the good old days. Oh, shit. Um, I guess I'll just hold it all. I could like do this and then sell, sell. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, fuck. I didn't even. Oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't even see the Amumu move pair. It's like, I can't even make Econ anyway. Well, I mean, Thresh can wait. But yeah, like, I'm pretty sure, if I had to guess the current climate of set 3.5 right now, the, the set revival, I would guess that it's very, like, it's incredibly imbalanced because they basically just like took the old set 3.5, made the bag size of all units 50 so that everything can be played no matter what, how many players are contesting. And then now there's like a shit ton of new augments. So I would guess that there's like a couple of really overpowered strats and it's kind of like when Earth came out in League of Legends, people are just like forcing really overpowered strats and dominating games. I, I would guess that that's what's going on. And there's probably like five players all playing the same build because the bag size is 50. Which is fine, like, let people have their fun. I just personally don't enjoy it. Uh, what do I want here? Maybe like an Asher's? Okay, just Warmogs is fine. I don't have anti-heal. How badly do I need anti-heal? I feel like kind of badly. I uh, I'm just gonna level up right now and try to keep my streak. Why not Morello for Vex? I uh, I feel like a, a tank one is better. 
Right, let your frontline live longer and then still apply anti-heal to the Riven. Like, I'm not playing this Vex for damage. I feel like this Annie can kind of do everything on her own. I remember the old Annie reroll needed, uh... The old Annie reroll needed an RE2 with three items. But I feel like in this one, the with the four emo, the Annie is so strong that she is kind of actually doing it all on her own. Okay, I think I roll. Let's roll for um, Echo or your... How many Aries out of the pool? None? All right, let's roll. Okay, should I actually go for a Mumu 3? I feel like why not? I'm gonna be at this level for a while. I don't believe I'm going 10. I'm probably gonna roll for a Mumu 3. Okay, here's the Riven 3. Let's see if... I mean, Annie's like got good single target damage. As long as the Riven finds her way over to the Lilia. Wait, oh, the Riven's like zigzagging over. I think it's gonna happen. Oh, it did, it did happen. Let's go, Lilia, let's go! You sexy son of a bitch. I find it really frustrating how difficult it is to plan against or as the Riven. Like how last game my Yone inted and cost me like 40 LP. Madge. Oh, Ixtimbo, thanks for the 27 months. But this time I will take a first. On my triple Annie shop while rolling for Annie. I should probably just middle my... Uh, I can't tell if I want to middle my Lilia or if I want her on the Annie side. I feel like have her on the Annie side makes more sense. Is there no way you go 10? I mean, you could, but like, what can you put in at 10 here? There are zero synergies you can play. Oh, sorry. You could play Execution. <laughs> uh, but no, it... You'd probably play an Alawi at 10, but what's more important than that is just hitting all your upgrades. Like, in the amount of money it could take to go 10 when it's like 70 gold, I could probably hit an Amumu 3. And would you rather have an Amumu 3 or an Alawi 1? Oh! Oh! Wait, this changes things a little bit. So now I just want to level up, I'm pretty sure. Do this for now. 24 mana cost. That doesn't really mean anything though, it's still 3 autos. And it's like, how do I do Emo Sona here without dropping like a lot of important synergies? Wait, this guy's strong as fuck. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, what if I did this instead? And then went five spell weaver. I think this is stronger. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna sell, and then we're gonna go. We're gonna go ten, and then play a Lulu. I think that's the the best course of action. Oh fuck! Oh, I wasn't think I wasn't paying attention. The Yasuo got through. Oh, that might cost me a placement. Oh no. I needed to win that to, to lock in at least second place. Fuck. Okay, I, I lost that because my Lilia was not in front of his Yasuo. Oh wait, I think I'm supposed to do Healing Sona here. Against the Crab. Okay, something like a Gwinsu Sona 2 could be the end game. Oh wait, oh it's not Crab Rave. Oh my god, okay. All right, I actually think it's TG Ari. It's decent value. TG and then like a Quincy on Sona. Uh, could it be Adaptive Helm or could it just be a Warmox? Okay. 
I'm not sure. I all I know is this guy's gonna roll me. I I'm sure Kiyun wins the game. This Sona headliner is way too strong. I cannot outscale that in time. Oh, I'm still on healing Sona. This guy is actually unkillable. Holy shit, Bruiser Sona with a three star set. Oh man, is it really a third? Okay, so I need to win against this guy. Yeah, yeah, okay. I need to win against this guy and then I need to face a ghost next round. So what needs to happen now is I have to face the, a ghost. Or no, I have to get my... Okay, my Yasuo is in front. All right, my Lilia is in front of his Yasuo. This should be a win. Just get a second, I'll be pretty happy here. Come on, Annie. Okay, that was pretty close. Okay, please let me face a ghost. Please. That's pretty big. Oh. Oh, I'm facing Kiyun again. Is it attack damage Sona or attack speed Sona? I feel like it's actually attack speed. I, I don't even think I beat the ghost. Maybe I can like live. Or maybe like the other guy dies minus four and I go minus two. Let's see. Pause champ. Second place, I'd be pretty happy. But yeah, I think it's attack speed Sona and then just like accelerate everybody. Oh, my already rolled the Gwinsu, which is actually perfect for this fight. Maybe I can cheese out one win. Okay, I beat the ghost. Did he die? There's no way he won. Wait, I think he sniped. Okay. No, he he like barely lost. Oh shit. I need a tank item. Um Sir, there are zero tank items. Uh-oh. There are literally zero tank items here. I guess it's a Shojin on Lulu. No, I'm facing real Kiyun. Dude, the game hates me. The game actually hates me. I'm just gonna hurt him just doing this to like get two casts off. The game actually hates me. I just faced Kiyun like five times in four fights. Or four times in five fights. Pretty sure I'm dead here. Okay. Oh god, and his Alawi rolled <laughs> Warmog's Declaw. <laughs> Maybe my ghost kills him? No, it's not even close. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. Wait. I won! What?! Wait, and the other guy died! Ha! How did I win?! Dude, it's actually, I think it's the Three's company, or Three's a crowd, giving like plus 300 HP to my whole team. Okay, am I already rolled a Death Blade? I have an idea. Oh, fuck. I, I didn't swap my Lilia aside. I didn't swap my Lilia aside. I, I, uh oh. I put all my spell weavers together so they could like have a higher chance of hitting the same target. Come on, Deathblade Ari. I'm counting on you. Wait. If I win this, this is actually like a legendary game. Oh, I didn't. It was a fluke. Actually, if I had my Lily on the correct side, it might have been able to make the diff. I should I should have paid attention. I, I spent too much time moving my units together instead of just like making sure Lily is on the correct side. Because uh, York died like too early and didn't summon a ghoul. That was a sick game though. The fact that like there was hope was kind of sick.